Hi fellows, and in one of my previous videos, one of the viewers asked me if I was ever going to make a video on how to adjust the linkage between the stick shift and the gearbox. And as we all know, on the Lotus release, that is basically a cable system. And that cable system becomes a bit sloppy over time. It has wear and tear because we are quite rough with the stick shift, especially on the track and if we are on the fast road. So therefore, I decided to make a video especially for you, Nick. Now anyhow, um, this video is going to be very long, so I divided it in three parts. Um, the first part, uh, I will talk about how it all works and I show you how it works. Um, how the stick shift is actually driving the selection on the gearbox. And then I have a second video to show you how you can replace the cable and how you can get access to it. And the last video will be all about the adjustment. How do you adjust the uh, cable system uh, for the stick shift. So this video guys uh, is all about on how it works. Uh, so bear with me for a while, it's not going to take too long. So Nick, here it comes and I hope you will enjoy it. Thank you. Alright guys, I'm under the car right now, not really comfortable, but the blue part is the gearbox. And the other components around here are the gear shifting mechanism. Basically, um, you have a metal bracket here that it's holding two cables in place and they're going all the way back to the driver's place. Actually, they end up on the uh, stick shift. The cable on the left, this one right here, is the cable that actually will move in and out. The rod, which is this one here, which is going into the gearbox. And if I push the stick shift forward, then basically, uh, this whole part, the cable pushes this rod basically uh, backwards. And it's already, as you can see now, it's backwards. If I move the stick shift to its middle position, then I'm pulling this cable back in a bit. So, so that's the middle position. And then at last, if I move the stick shift all the way to the back, so I move it backwards, then the cable uh, will even be pulling more and it moves the rod all the way in into the gearbox. So basically we have the three positions, an in position which is a gear, the middle position which is neutral, like so, and then we have the outer position which is the other gear. It's either gear one and two, three and four, five or reserve, uh, reverse. So these are the pairs. That's what this selector does. That's why we call this cable the gear selector cable. And it only is activated when the stick shift is moving back or forward. The second cable, that's what is what we call the uh, cross gate cable. And the cross gate cable will actually rotate uh, the rod either counterclockwise or clockwise. If it's rotated counterclockwise, then it's, it moves up basically. And if it rotates clockwise, it's moving down. So let's use the term up and down. That only happens when you move the stick shift left or right. And now let me just place it in neutral first. So which is the middle position, I'm in it now. And now uh, if somebody wants to move the stick shift to the left or to the right, this cable should, will move. It will be, become longer or shorter. And you can see how it actually rotates the uh, the shaft that goes into the gearbox. Right? So this is how the mechanism works. Now in terms of adjustments and we're not talking about adjustments right now, uh, this is the bracket here which is holding with two clips the cables in place and the only adjustment you can do is by undoing this nut and doing that nut and as you, if you look closely you will see that these are a bit slotted so you can move the bracket a bit back and forward but not very much so you can't do really a lot on that one. Um, in fact, the cables are made, made to length, so uh, it should be okay. But that's all stuff for the uh, adjustment uh, in my other video. Now, right now, uh, there's one more part I want to show you. And this is this connection rod here. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's only used for the um, cross gate uh, operation. And that has to be uh, aligned or adjusted to about eight uh, centimeters or 80 millimeters uh, but this is also a, a subject we'll discuss uh, during the uh, adjustment of the um, control system for switching the gears so now let me get from underneath this car because it's not comfortable and um, we go into the cockpit now 
and have a look at the stick shift mechanism and Brian actually will have a video showing the two in action. So, the stick shift. Uh, I've removed the tunnel already so you have a better view and how you remove all this we'll discuss in another video. Now, the stick shift. Here's the stick shift. And as I said before, um, its normal position is between gears 2 and 3 in the neutral position. So, uh, if I push the stick shift to the, the right and I let go, it comes back. And it should come back to its normal position and I can move it to the right and it should come back. So this is a bit uh, what the neutral position is of the stick shift. So it's in between uh, gears uh, 3 and 4 in the middle position. Now, remember when we looked at the cable in the back and we set the gear selection cable um, is pushing the rod in or out into the gearbox and it's been activated by a forward movement of the stick shift or a backward movement. The cable ends up over here. I don't know if you can see it, but that's where that cable ends up. This is the gear selection cable. And you'll see it as soon as I move the stick shift, it will move back or forward. The other cable, which is the crossgate cable, ends up right here. And this is this cable coming down. Right? This is the cable that actually rotates the rod that goes into the gearbox. That is only activated if I move the stick shift left or right. So now let's have a quick look. If I move the stick shift forward, the only thing that should be moving should actually be the gear selection cable, this part over here. So let's do that. See that? Now I'm going to move it backwards. And nothing is moving over here. The whole crossgate part is quiet, it's stable, it doesn't move. So now let's select gear 1, so we'll push the stick shift to the left and notice that nothing is going to happen, as you can see. Nothing happens over here. It, the cable doesn't move back or forth, so the gear selector cable is not moving. However, uh, now you see activity on the crossgate mechanism, right? So if I move the stick shift to the left, what happens, the cable actually gets pushed forward or pulled forward, see? If I move the stick shift to the right, then guess what? Just the opposite will take place. So now I'm moving up the mechanism, as you see, and the cable is being pushed back. So the crossgate cable is being pushed back. Now that's what makes it all happen in the back. So this is very simple. Um, there isn't much to it. So I'll show you now on the video in a split screen when I'm moving the stick and actually what happens in the back of the car. So let's have a look. All right, guys, uh, on the screen on the left, you have a view on the gearbox and on the right, you have a view of the stick shift. Now, uh, the stick shift is in the neutral position, meaning it's between uh, gears number three and gear number four. If I move the stick shift forward, then the gear selection cable will be pushed backwards like so. And the result will be that the rod on the gearbox will be pulled out in full. So let's do that. I'm moving the stick shift now in gear position number three. Did you see the rod being pulled out on the gearbox? All right. So now I'm going to move the stick shift back to neutral and then onwards to gear number four. So backwards. So we are in gear number three. Now we are neutral. What's the rod on the gearbox? Now it's in its neutral position. And now I'm going to pull the stick shift even more backwards and we are now selecting gear number four. And the cable, the, the gear selection cable is now fully pulled forward. And as a result, the rod on the gearbox is now fully inserted. And that's the same for any of the gears, basically, any of the gear pairs. So gears one and two, three and four, and five in reverse. As you might have noticed, this mechanism here, which is the crossgate selector, did not move whatsoever. That is only getting activated if you move the stick shift to the left or to the right. If I move the stick shift to the left, then you can see that the mechanism is going down and it's pulling out the crossgate cable. If that has been pulled out, then basically the mechanism in the back of the car 
will turn the rod that goes into the gearbox upwards, so counterclockwise. See? Now, if I move the stick shift to the right, then the cable is being pushed back and the rod is turning uh, clockwise or it's going down uh, at the back of the gearbox. So that's really how the cross gate works. Now, if I keep moving the cross gate, you notice that nothing is changing on the gear selection cable. The rod doesn't move in or out, it just stays where it is, it just rotates. And that's how the gear selection is working. So now let's uh, select gear number one from the neutral position. So first, um, the cross gate uh, system activates, it rotates the um, rod that goes into the gearbox upwards basically, that's we call it upwards, and now I'm going to move the stick shift forward to gear number one, and if I do so, then the cable, which is connected over here, which we call the gear selector cable, is now being moved backward, and now the rod in the gearbox has been pulled out. And this is how simple that is. So guys, uh, you've seen how the system works now, so now you're ready for the next video, which is part number two, which is the replacement of the cables. And if you are ready for it, I am ready for it, because I've got the new cables already ready to go. Now, the last part uh, will be especially for Nick, which is the adjustment of the cables. Thank you for watching, and please, if you have any comments or observations or advice, please contact me, put a comment up, Give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down. And if you give me a thumbs down, let me know why. Because I am always willing to learn. Thank you for viewing, fellows. Mm -hmm.